Um, so what is socialism? Socialism is the political economic system where the state owns the means of production, where it controls primarily through ownership. And that's a, the, the, kind of the, 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 the subtle difference between socialism and fascism. In socialism, the state owns the means of production. Under fascism, they control it through regulations. So, but they're very similar. Both are forms of real statism, where the state manages the economy. The state controls the economy. It tells people how much they can make. It redistributes wealth on a massive scale, and it regulates and controls what gets produced and at what prices it gets produced. And you know, this country is clearly drifting towards socialism, that it is drifting away from a system where the government has no involvement in the economy, and leaves the economy, the, re the distribution of, uh, of wealth, the creation of wealth, the uh, you know, prices, what products get made, uh, all of those issues leaves them to individual choices, voluntary choices and individuals, and we're moving slowly over the last 100 years to a system where the government controls all of these aspects. Uh, we're still, I think, a long way in the United States from out and out socialism, where the government controls all of them, but we're on that slippery slope and we're clearly heading in that direction and very little that our politicians seem to be doing or, or have done in the last hundred years, even even the better ones, seems to slow down the, the, the slide down this slippery slope. Why is it immoral? It's immoral because it violates individual rights or, or, or more fundamentally because it's anti-human life. It's anti-life. Um, so it's wrong. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's immoral for the government to take money from some people and give it to others. You know, assuming that the people who it's taking it from made it and created it. And, and we would argue that wealth is actually created. People work hard for the money that they, that they make. Money is just a reflection. It's just a tool, you know, it's, uh, expressing the value of, of the labor or the thought or the, or the innovation that you've introduced into the marketplace. And when you create that wealth, when, when you've made that money and it's yours, nobody has a right to pull out a gun and take it from you and give it to somebody else. Uh, and you know, once, once you start doing that, you destroy all the life-giving aspects of a healthy economy. You destroy innovation and creativity and hard work and people really trying because it's not theirs. You know, it gets taken away, forces being used on them. Now that's just the redistribution of wealth. Now think about what happens when the government decides which innovations to support and which innovations not to support, what's good and what's bad, what consumers should buy, what consumers shouldn't buy. It's basically putting a gun to everybody in the economy and telling them what they should and shouldn't do, how they should and shouldn't behave. And that just destroys people's passion for life because they're not following their own values. It destroys their ability to think about what they really want in life and, and it destroys their ability, their conceptual ability to innovate because they're not allowed to think about certain portions so they can't really think. If, if whole segments of reality you are told by some government bureaucrat are out of bounds for you, you can't think. Thinking is taking in all the relevant facts. It's not taking the, the facts that some government bureaucrat told you are relevant. All the relevant facts and then coming to a decision about what's right and what's wrong, or what works and what doesn't work, or what's efficient or inefficient, that falls apart under any type of regulations. And socialism regulates everything, regulates every aspect of that. So human, the human mind collapses, the ability to reason collapses, and therefore the ability of the individual to take care of himself, to, to pursue his values, to, to, to choose the life that he wants to choose, and to produce in order to facilitate that life, all of that is destroyed. So socialism is evil because it attacks human life. It attacks our reasoning capacity. It attacks our values, our, our uh, you know, our uh, our self-interested values, our ability to pursue our own life. And it tells us that we have to sacrifice everything, our life, our wealth, our values, uh, what we enjoy doing, everything for some cause. You know, and, and depending on the type of socialism, it might be a difficult, the poor, the meek, the proletarian, uh, whatever. And that's just evil. That's just wrong. Um, so if you believe that 
uh, right is about that which is consistent with human life, that which promotes human life, brings about human flourishing, then you have to reject everything about socialism. Socialism is the opposite. It, it, it creates a society uh, which is basically dead. It's dead spiritually, it's dead economically, it's dead from a values pursuit perspective. And if, if you want to see this, you know, you could have. Not that long ago, socialism was alive and thriving and well, uh, you know, in Eastern Europe and in the Soviet Union, and it was horrible. It was, it was, it was destructive of the human spirit. And, uh, you know, it, when you saw the faces of those young people who tore down the Berlin Wall, uh, you know, you saw what they imagined was possible once they once they, you know, shrugged off socialism, well, once they dispensed with socialism. Um, you know, so we've had a model, we've seen it, and of course, just in, in terms of sheer destruction, think of the, about the human lives. Think about the lives lost under Mao or under Stalin. You know, the, the, the tens of millions of people that just died. But almost as important, almost as real, or maybe more real, is the suffering, the agony, the lives wasted under communism and socialism in all these countries, the, the, the dreams unfulfilled, the values unpursued, the, the, the wealth uncreated, the, the, the music not produced, all the, all the things that free people would have done and didn't do because they were not free. So if you value freedom, if you value human life, if you value individual human life, then you should view socialism as one of the most destructive uh, ideas ideas in human history.